Hey guys, welcome back to Cruise Blog. It's Allie, and today we're going to be sharing 15 of our best carnival drink package tips. Let's get into it. A carnival drink package allows you to indulge in a fixed number of alcoholic beverages per day of your cruise for a set price, so you don't have to worry about purchasing drinks a la carte. They're one of the most popular cruise add-ons for a reason. Of course, if you're not a big drinker, you may not get your money's worth when purchasing a drink package. Maybe you'd rather splurge on some once-in-a-lifetime shore excursions or maybe upgrading to a nicer stateroom. So here are 15 tips that will help you decide whether or not a carnival drink package is worth the investment for you or not. First, you'll want to know what's included in your base fare. Carnival is not an all-inclusive cruise line, meaning that you'll only get select beverages included with your base fare. This includes water, lemonade, fruit juice, coffee, tea, as well as regular and chocolate milk. So if you want a broader selection, you'll either have to purchase each drink individually on your Carnival cruise, or you'll want to pay for a drink package. To start off, there are some drinks that are included with the standard cruise fare. Water, lemonade, fruit juice, coffee, tea, regular, and chocolate milk are all complimentary. For those who want a broader selection, drinks can be purchased a la carte or guests can purchase drink packages. You'll also want to consider the price of a drink package versus the price of paying for each drink individually. With the Cheers drink package on Carnival, you will have an extensive selection of beverages to choose from as you can order any spirit, cocktail, beer, or glass of wine that's valued at $20 or less. Additionally, you get a 25% discount off the menu price for any spirit or wine by the glass that's above $20 as well as any bottle of wine or champagne. But you'll want to know that you have a cap of 15 alcoholic drinks per day with Carnival's cheer package. In addition though, this also includes unlimited non-alcoholic beverages such as sodas, zero-proof frozen cocktails, energy drinks, specialty coffees, hot tea, bottled water, and other non-alcoholic bottled beverages. For those under the legal drinking age or those who are not interested in an alcoholic option, you can also purchase one of Carnival's other packages, including the Bottomless Bubbles package. For a low price of $9.95 per adult per day or $6.95 per child per day, you can indulge in unlimited soda, including Pepsi, Diet Pepsi, Pepsi Zero Sugar, Caffeine Free Pepsi, Diet Pepsi, Caffeine Free, Sierra Mist, Sierra Mist Zero Sugar, Mug Rip Beer Mountain Dew, Diet Mountain Dew, and Bubbly Lime or blackberry sparkling water. Note that Carnival Cruise Line does not offer a non-alcoholic package that includes mocktails or specialty coffees. If you purchase the bottomless bubbles, you'll have to pay still for your specialty coffees and those mocktails. To know if a drink package would be a wise investment or not, it's crucial to understand how much each drink costs if you paid for them individually. Most beer is around seven to eight dollars each and that includes a blue moon, Corona, Tiki Frog Ale, Bud Light, and more. If you want to purchase wine by the glass, you can expect to spend at least $8 per glass in the main dining room. Those premium selections of wine, though, will cost you upwards of $15. Most cocktails are under $14. Depending on which bar you go to, you might be able to find a wide selection for $11 and under. That includes the Atrium Bar, which has offerings such as Bahama Mamas, Margaritas, and Pirate Punch for $11 each. Soft drinks are $2.50 each, while other non-alcoholic drinks like energy drinks, bottled water, and Gatorade can be purchased for less than $3. Specialty coffees range from $1.95 for a simple brewed coffee to $6.50 for spiked alcoholic coffee beverages. So what happens if you want a drink that's over $20? Most drinks on board Carnival ships are well under $20, which is the threshold that's included with the package. However, if you find a specialty drink that you're itching to try, you'll get a 25% discount off of the menu price rather than simply paying the difference. If for instance, the drink costs you $25, you'll be billed $18.75. We also suggest you pre-purchase your Cheers package to save money before you get on board. To save 10% off the daily price of the Cheers package, you'll want to buy it in advance via Carnival's website or by calling the call center. This means that rather than paying $65.95 per day for your drink package, you'll only be paying $59.95. The cutoff for this pre-purchase is 11.59 p.m. the day before embarkation through the website and then 9 p.m. Eastern through the call center. Note that there are no discounts for the soda package, so it really doesn't matter if you pre-purchase it or if you book it on the ship. 
Next up, we also suggest getting the drink package if you decide you want to step out of your drinking comfort zone. You might have your favorite go-to drink like that Moscow Mule, a margarita, or maybe a whiskey sour, but why not try something new? With a cheers package, you'll be able to step outside of your comfort zone and try drinks that you might not even think about if you were paying for them individually. Carnival has specialty cocktails that you can't find on other cruise lines, or if you're Feeling really adventurous, you could ask a bartender what their favorite drink is and make it a fun surprise. If you don't like it, it's not a big deal. Just simply order something else. At least you say you tried something new while you're on vacation while you're at it. Another tip for the Cheers package is that it is great for those who prefer higher quality beverages. Since the drink package includes all drinks valued up to $20, it's really easy to get your money's worth quickly, especially if you have a refined palate. Some of the highest priced spirits, for instance, will set you back $16 to $19, and that's before the extra service charge. You would only need to break even by having four alcoholic drinks per day if you decide you want to have some of these higher end spirits or liquors. Our next tip is for passengers sailing from New York or Texas. If you're sailing from one of these ports, you should know that you cannot use the package until the second day. Due to local laws, Carnival does not allow Cheers packages to be used on the first day of any cruise that departs from New York or Texas. That means that if you get the package, you will still be paying for each drink individually on the first day. Of course, you will not be charged the, for the entire duration of your cruise with this. If, for instance, you're sailing the seven nights, you'll only be billed as though you were on a six-night cruise when it comes to the drink package pricing. So what does Cheers exclude? Cheers is not an all-inclusive package. As mentioned earlier, you'll be limited to 15 alcoholic drinks per day. Unlike other cruise lines, which have no cap, you'll wanna make sure that you know the Cheers package, again, has that limit of 15 drinks per day. In addition, you cannot use the package for any drinks served in a souvenir glass or offered at the ship's gangway, bottles of liquor, beverages offered through room service or mini bars. It also excludes large sharing cocktails, floaters, pitchers, tubes, and buckets, or drinks that are served through the wine machines. Another tip that you'll wanna know is that you can't use your package at Half Moon K. If your ship has a scheduled visit to Half Moon K, which is Carnival's private island in the Bahamas, you will not be able to use your Cheers package while ashore. This means that even if you have already spent a considerable amount of money on this drink package for your Carnival cruise, you will still have to pay for each individual drink that you get while lounging on the beach. The afternoon buffet is included in the cost of your cruise fare though, so you won't have to worry about returning to the ship for lunch. Another tip that you'll want to know is that you cannot share the drink package with other guests in your stateroom. If one person in your cabin decides that they want the Cheers drink package, then all other adults of drinking age assigned to the same room will be required to purchase one as well. Plus, you have to be 21 years or older in order to get the drink package, meaning that this package is not available to minors, which shouldn't be surprising. Note that if one person in the stateroom purchases the bottomless bubbles, not everyone is required to do so, so that is different. However, if anyone other than the assigned individual wants to order soda with the package, they'll be required to get their own. In other words, no Carnival drink packages can be shared. Another tip is that if you decide not to get the package, Carnival allows you to bring a limited amount of alcohol on board with you on embarkation day. Passengers may bring one 750 milliliter bottle of unopened wine or champagne per person in their carry-on luggage when they board a Carnival cruise. You can also bring a 12 pack of soda on board as well. And that's a very common thing for Carnival cruisers to do. If you choose to bring a bottle of wine or champagne on board and consume it outside of your stateroom, you will be charged a $15 corkage fee per bottle though. So you'll want to enjoy that wine in your stateroom. Also, if you love wine, you should consider purchasing a Cruise the Vineyards package. For those passengers who enjoy a glass of wine, Carnival offers two Cruise the Vineyards packages that offer discounts on a predetermined selection of wine. You can think of wines from Italy, New Zealand, France, Germany, California, Washington, Chile, Armenia, and Argentina. While prices are not listed on Carnival's website, passengers have noted that discounts can be as high as 35% than if you were to purchase anything individually. Since prices are not made available online, you'll have to ask your dining room server for more information once you get on board your Carnival cruise. Another tip is to stock up on bottled water. 
If you're not getting a drink package, you should consider purchasing a pack of bottled water in advance through Carnival's website. If you're in a rush getting ready to make it to a shore excursion in time, you'll be thankful that you can just grab a bottle of water from your stateroom's mini fridge before heading out. Plus, you will save money compared to if you were going to buy individual water bottles on board. Currently, Carnival has two different packages. You can get a 12 pack of natural spring water for $9.95, or you can get an eight pack of larger bottles of natural spring water for $20. Alternative you can also bring your own refillable water bottle on board to make sure that you always have water available in your cabin. You don't want to wake up in the middle of the night and have to put on those slippers to go grab water to quench your thirst. Another tip is to rise up the ranks of Carnival's loyalty program for some free beverage perks. Some tiers of Carnival's loyalty program, known as the very important fun person, have some drink benefits that you should know about. In order to reach different tiers, you will have to continue sailing with Carnival. Guests accumulate one point for every night sailed on board a Carnival cruise, meaning that you will reach gold after four seven night cruises or five five night cruises. After your first sailing, you become a red VIFP, which is where you will remain until you reach 25 points. You will then get a free one and a half liter bottle of water on each cruise. Gold VIFP members get a free bottle of water as well as an appreciation drink on sailings that are five days or longer that you can redeem at any bar on the last evening of the cruise after 5 p.m. Once you've reached 75 points, you become a platinum VIFP. While you will not have an appreciation drink, you will get a complimentary beverage at Sea Day Brunch, as well as a special party on sailings that are longer than five nights where you will also enjoy free alcoholic drinks. You don't get any additional beverage benefits once you reach Carnival's highest tier, which is Diamond. You can also spend a lot of time in the casino for free drinks. If you love gambling, you might just be able to get some free drinks based on how much time and money that you spend in the casino. Drinks on Us rewards those who accumulate a certain number of points with complimentary cocktails, beer, wine, sodas, and other non-alcoholic drinks while playing in the casino. According to Carnival's website, you can earn free drinks twice as fast as on any other cruise line. Plus, the more points you earn, the more benefits you'll get in addition to free drinks like private invitations to Carnival Premier cruises and tournaments. Once you get on board, you can speak with the casino host for more information, but that's something that you might want to consider as well. All right, everybody, those are our best 15 tips for Carnival's Cheers drink package. Comment below if you tend to buy Carnival's drink package and whether or not you think it's worth the price. Thanks for tuning in today, everybody, and be sure to like and subscribe to Cruise Blog so you can be notified every time we have a new video. Until next time, happy cruising.